Come on. This might be amusing. Ubisoft's latest game, a COD competitor, X Defiant, recently just released a couple days ago. I've been playing it a lot and I had some interesting thoughts on it. The thoughts are that this game's pretty good and it definitely does stand on its own and it definitely stands, I don't know, I feel like it could stand the test of time based on just the raw gameplay aspect of it being so good. Now, it being a recent kind of, you know, live service kind of game, you know what I'm saying? A recent type shit that a lot of game companies like to do, live service, it still has like the stuff like the store where you get the secondary currency to buy it's called x coins right you know the same old same old free to play stuff and they plan to make money based off just selling skins like this skin costs a thousand coins which is ten dollars so they just plan on selling these skins i can already imagine you know as the game carries on as the game progresses and as time moves on you're probably gonna have like special skins like i don't know like sam fisher or like Ezio skins or like rabbit skins right like imagine like <laughs> a giant ass like uh rabbits like costume like a teletubbies rabbit's costume just gunning you down in like anime skins and anime guns like eventually it's going to be like that kind of crazy with a store but that's how they make their money right i mean honestly i really can't complain since it's a free-to-play game and whatnot and they got to make money somehow so they got to sell all these ridiculous skins maybe even like go like the fortnite route and sell like crossover skins and stuff like that maybe some marvel maybe some i don't know some current stuff that they want to cross over some anime maybe so in that aspect i mean it's still gonna have that i mean you're gonna still have battle passes and stuff like that stuff that i normally don't mess with because i don't spend money on those kind of things skins or battle passes i understand that in terms of monetary wise but that stuff really doesn't have a bearing if the game's not good and what i can say which is a huge positive is the game is very good and is very fun so first off we got factions which is just like the classes of this game and you have four well there's five factions the fifth one you have to unlock through just playing the game if you're free to play but you could also just outright unlock it just by purchasing it so i'm imagining as they add more factions it's going to be the same thing where either you can wait and just grind out the game to unlock the faction or you could just speed up the process and just buy it which also it, you could consider that yeah pay to win pay to progress pay for convenience but at the end of the day it's, it doesn't hurt you that much that you don't have the latest faction unlocked day one it's just going to be for the impatient types so they're also going to be relying on that kind of fomo in order to get money but anyway so these factions you know you have four factions based on different ubisoft titles like this is far cry splinter cell ghost recon phantoms the division and each one of them have their own kind of like passive ability so they have a passive trait like the splinter cell people um whenever you shoot your gun you don't appear on the mini map they'll have two abilities that you can either choose from so the ghost recons is the intel suit which is just basically a pulsating kind of like um like a uav around you that you can help your teammates see the enemies and whatnot it's pretty powerful it's pretty short range though so that's it's kind of downfall it's not like it across the map you have a ghillie suit which turns yourself invisible you can pretty you can see when someone's invisible it's not like completely invisible there's like that you know like that shimmer that invisibility in games like that have it's not the too terribly op and you have the ultimate which they call it the ultra but that should be real here it's an ultimate for all purpose sakes so the splinter Star ultra the um, ultimate is that you basically have a Widowmaker ultimate and you hunt them down with the sam fisher's 5 7 pistol which is basically a golden gun it one shots everybody which is pretty good but when you're in this ultimate you can still be killed really easy you have the same hp there's no immunity so you can easily just get one shot by a sniper which is nice same goes for the other people's ultimates i'll just briefly go over them this one you have passive regen this is a gas canister this is like the healing class gas canister that heals you in a, in a radius that constantly heals you it's just a um a one-time activating that's fast heal and heals also uh, nearby allies and this one gives you double hp for your ultimate and i can go the list on and i can go down the list but you kind of get the point this one's kind of a special class since you get 120 hp as your passive which is kind of op and I will say about like gameplay wise, I don't know how they're going to handle with balance, but this class is definitely feels pretty strong with the barrier and the Aegis. Like these two abilities are very, very obnoxious. I'd say the barrier is probably the biggest offender being how blatantly strong it is just being able to block bullets and grenades, but I digress. They'll fix that later with the balance. Every class feels pretty fun. I would say some of the abilities feel a little bit, um, I don't know how to say not as engaging, not as fun, but at the end of the day, you know, this can all, all those abilities can be, you know, either tweaked or added or removed or, you know, balance patch, stuff like that. And it really doesn't affect the overall game. What I think is the most interesting part of the game is just the ability just to play. Like, I'm surprised. I don't think Call of Duty has this, which is really disappointing. They don't have a way to create a custom playlist. So I don't really like playing Escort or Zone Control, which is just basically the hallway maps. They're pretty boring to me because you have to run back and it's not like a truly instant respawn mode. So, but you could just create a custom playlist 
and I just want only domination, occupy, and hotshot, which only does like the square maps that are instant respawn. So I just do that, and then you hit play. And matches, you get matches very, very fast, which I really do appreciate. I remember playing the trial for Call of Duty, the related Call of Duty, and you get matches like very, very slow. It's pretty obnoxious. There's a lobby system, so you can decide what maps you want to vote beforehand. There's no lobby staying, but there is lobby just voting. Of course, you obviously can join into an in-progress match, but it is what it is. doesn't really matter that much. And then you have your loadouts, stuff like that. I mean, if you've played any kind of like Call of Duty, this is just very, very similar in terms of the feel and vibe. Um, I have no complaints about any of the weapon types. I mean, the game, I'll just, when I get into game, I'll like show it. But movement in this game is crazy. And when I mean by crazy, it means... It feels good, which I think is the best part of this game is honestly the movement feeling good because if the movement in this game didn't feel good, I think it'd be immediately into the dumpster, like into the trash, like nobody would really remember it. You know, nobody would really stick around and play more matches and stuff like that because why would you play a game that just feels awful to play? Like I said, I'm going to play the Phantom with a barrier because I get 120 HP and then I get a really OP shield that I could just peek people with a sniper. Snipers in this game also feel really good. Um, everything about this game in terms of movement just feels very, very good. And this is the biggest, the game's, I think the game had to execute on that alone. It's just being able to be a really strong shooter in terms of just movement and having fun, moving around, shooting people, you know, interacting with things. Abilities don't feel that oppressive. Grab the most bounties to become the hot shot. You know, besides the, the shield. But it's just very fun. Like, it's just really fun. Like, I'm just crouching and jumping. And you can get some pretty good distance with the pistol as well. Right, I'm just moving around. And overall, this game is just very well made. Make sure I pick this down. Right here. And it's just very fun. Right now, we're playing this kind of like weird kind of mode. Oh my god, I gotta double kill. We're playing this weird kind of like. I don't know, like kill confirm mode, hot shot. If you collect like three tags, you become like hot or whatever. You get increased like movement speed and I think attack damage. And you get more points for your team. It's a nice, interesting, unique mode. But overall, like as I say, I guess I got that double kill. It feels very, the game just feels very good. Some of the maps I feel like aren't the best. Like this map in general, I don't really like because of the way it's designed. But like maps in general, It'll get solved. Like, it's a solved issue. Like, it'll eventually fix it out by just adding in more maps and re removing maps from rotation, stuff like that. Like, it's not really any cost for concern when it comes to content like that because they've even pulled people and pulled devs. I'm sorry. They even pulled devs from, like, other games like The Division Heartlands to this game for support so they could be constantly updating it constantly adding new weapons i mean even as i record this they added the a 12 and another weapon i forget what it was and just in like a recent just patch and the game hasn't even been out for a week so i'm not really too concerned about post-launch content in terms of like new maps and stuff like that oops i don't know oops i'm bad oh he got him but, I mean, the biggest issue would really be, and for me, it'd probably just be the way they're going to handle the ranked mode, which really isn't like the biggest issue. Which really isn't the biggest issue for me. It's just the disappointing that, you know, the ranked mode is 4v4, not 6v6, which makes the dynamic between switching to ranked and casual, like, really different. Like, it's a pretty big deal that you have just, like, two less people instead of, you know, the full 6v6. In my opinion, it makes it less fun. But, at the end of the day, I mean, the game is only supposed to be, like, a casual thing. I mean, they did the whole advertisement meme of being like, oh, we don't have any SBMM. So that's why, you know, come pe people that hate the SBMM just come and play our game. And stuff like that. Which, I mean, I kind of do agree when... A lot of these people are like, oh, COD has SBMM. You know, that's why, that's why COD's bad, and that's why it's rigged against you. And I don't know how true that is, but um, it definitely feels like that. I don't know how to explain it. Where you feel like your your experience has been like tampered with, in a sense. Oh, I suck. And this is really bad for sniping because they're all at head level. But just the rank mode itself, 
I have issues with it being 4v4. Watch their six. Um, I think input based matchmaking that they have here is probably for the best, if I'm going to be straight up. Because I don't like playing with any kind of like controller people. It's not that they have, like I have an issue with controllers. It's just that. New hot shot is a tango. And their bounty run. It's just that controllers just have that natural aim assist, and it's also kind of like a, oh, I don't know if he killed me out of skill or if he just got aim assist. You know what I'm saying? It's just two different things, and I think they always should be um, separated. They never should be together. See? That's how the sniper looks. Or the invis guy. Looks. And you can clearly see them. If you know what you're looking for. It's not like a big surprise. But uh, input based matchmaking is nice. There's no kill streaks, which I think is also a good thing. It separates it from COD from just being a COD clone. And I don't think kill streaks are necessary, just due to the fact that kill streaks kind of ruin the game, and they're just like a a win type of situation. It feels amazing when you get a chopper gunner right, and you're just like shitting on the enemy team. But when you're getting chopper gunnered against, it's just like everyone everyone knows what happens. You just leave because it's not fun. And it's not engaging. Um, Enemies have another hot shot. There's no prone in this Get game, up. which is also like another kind of anti-COD thing where it's like drop shotting in COD is like pretty annoying to deal with because it's kind of like not unrealistic, it's just kind of like bullshit. Maintain mission advantage. Which I do like. I mean, there is like sliding, which if you can clearly see, I could like literally just slide across the map, which is pretty fun. Priority the enemy I really do track. like how ultimates Take can only out. be reused like once a match. Like, I don't like ultimates, but if you're gonna have them, just make it so it's one use. You know, you can't just use it twice in a match or just spam ultimates. Makes the game less fun, in my opinion. Got back. Those, dude. People really should be jumping against this sniper because I know exactly where you're gonna land. That's a tip, by the way. You never want to jump. Because as soon as you land, I know where you're going to land. You can't move. I don't maneuver me. You want to be sliding and moving left to right. It's a tip against how to play against snipers. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just an arena-based shooter that's a really solid mechanic-based game. You know? I think snipers are kind of OP, and they are going to have to nerf them. But that's just me. I don't know if they'll listen to it. But they are very fun. Maybe that's another kind of like a balance issue that they might fix. Um, aside from that, I have really no complaints about this game. This game is insanely fun, besides the ranked. Right, I wish ranked would launch 6v6, but that's not my decision, right? That's that's uh, Ubisoft's decision, but Kill I hope the they change that. Take the bounty, pick up the hot shot. You know the drill. Um, but besides that, yeah, this game is incredibly, incredibly fun. I mean, I think server issues, sometimes it does feel like, you know, I'm getting, I'm sh getting shot behind a wall and stuff like that, but that's kind of like, um, just like a natural kind of like game thing where there's always, always going to be latency. There's always going to, you know, peekers advantage, stuff like that. Unless you're playing on LAN, there's always going to be, there's always something going to be, you know. Messing you up or feeling like it's bullshit, like you shouldn't have died to that. Enemies have another hot shot. But aside from that, this game's very, very fun. I'm having a blast with it. Hot shot. Cover their play. I think if I have to give my closing thoughts, I mean, I hope they don't do anything too crazy. I hope they address things. You know, do some slight nerfs, slight buffs. Don't go too crazy with it. Also, good to go. To reload. There's a guy on that side. I can't believe I could have got like a triple there, but I'm like talking and not paying attention. But it's whatever. But uh, yeah, I hope they don't go too crazy with the updates and makes and do some really stupid decision. I am down. I'm down. An ally is the new oh my god, this is fucking hilarious, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this game's just fun to just do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. But yeah, this game's just insanely fun. I'm having a blast with it. There's an event for this dude here. Ah! My melee! This game's just really fun. I mean, I hope this game pretty much just goes the distance. And I hope Ubisoft supports it. And stuff like that. 
This game's really fun. I mean, you have this obnoxious... Oh, I will say my last complaint for this game is just having to see this annoying thing and not being able to just boot out and just go to the main menu. But this is all, the only purpose here, we all know it, is just to um, get you to buy skins, to see people's skins and stuff like that. Their gun skins and their uh, operator skins. And that's all just to like, oh my god, I, this guy has such a cool skin and he performs so well. I'm gonna get that skin in the store. But really, I just want to like play another game. But you find matches really quick, so... I don't know how much I can play on that that aspect of it. At least you find matches incredibly quick. Um, the games are in, insanely quick as well. That's a new another positive. Games aren't like 10 plus minutes. They're five minutes and stuff like that. So you just get in, get out. If you get shit on, it's okay. We go next. If you dominate, well, the people that are getting shit on, you know, don't have to bear it that well. And even if you do uh, are getting shit on, you could always just leave the game. There's no penalty for stuff like that. But yeah, the game's just in incredibly fun. And you just saw it from that gameplay and I hope you know they do support it they do add new new guns new maps new modes I'm wishing for gun game eventually they're gonna add gun game and a bunch of other stuff maybe they might add a combat knife maybe they might add a you know tomahawk so I go back to my cod days running around with a knife and a combat um, you know in a tomahawk and stuff like that be very very fun actual cod stuff and I'm just having a really good time with this game I mean I log in I snipe I get some kills, I get killed, and it's just very fun. I mean, overall, I really have high hopes for this game because it's very, very fun, and I hope I hope it doesn't die. I'm going to be honest, I haven't had this much fun in an FPS in a while, in like a long, long time. It is super, super fun. I really enjoy it, and I hope it lasts a good while. I really do. And yeah, that's all. The hands go up, but they always come down. That's the sad truth when you're living for the crowd. The show's been over, but you still want to